Hello and welcome back to Quirk Master with me, Katie, your Quirk Master. It is time for round three. Boom. Quirky movie. Over to Amy, who is going to read out the task. Hello, hello. I have been sent another task from the taskmaster. I'm going to open it now and find out what it is. What's it going to be? I can see it says 48 hours. So whatever the hell it is, I have 48 hours. Hello. Welcome back to Quirkmaster. Your next task is a quirky movie. Choose a movie scene to recreate using household objects. You can use any objects and you must feature in the final scene. It can be a short scene, long scene, animated or live action. The Quirkmaster will decide who wins. You have 48 hours. Your time. starts now. Thank you, Amy. Now, let's see how our competitors got on. First of all, we have Amelia Stevenson. I'm a garment, I'm a garment. Hey, yo, what's the matter? Someone's making the April Fool with me. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Budge. Where have you been for so long, Budge? Hey, Joe, come see what it is. Hey, what would you know? It's Budge. <laughs> hey, get him some food before he eat me up. <laughs> hey, yes, he's coming up. <laughs> hey, Joe, look. Butch has got himself a new girlfriend. Hey, son of a gun, he's got a cocker spaniel, a girl. Oh, she's pretty sweet. Hey, come here. Take Tony's advice and settle down with this one. Here's your food, Tony. Cat food? I broke your face. Tonight, Butcher you get the best in the house. Now tell me, what is your pleasure? Uh-huh, okay. Hey, Joe, he says he wants spaghetti, especially heavy on the meatballs. Tony, thumbs are down to talk. Well, he's talking to me. Okay, he's talking to you. Use the boss. Mamma mia. Now, here you are. The best spaghetti in town. enjoyed that. Next up we have Amy McCann. Miss Wyndham, when you uh, arrived back at the house, was your father there? Not that I saw. Like I said, I went straight upstairs to take a shower. And when you came downstairs, what happened? I saw Brooke standing over his body, drenched in blood. Oh. Um, but uh, Mrs. Wyndham didn't have a gun. No, she'd stashed it by then. Move to strike that from the record, Your Honor? That's speculation. So stricken. <sighs> Go on. Um, Miss Wyndham. Did you hear a shot fired? No, I was in the shower. Okay, so sometime in the 20 minutes that you were in the shower, your father was shot. I guess. Your father was shot whilst you were in the shower, but um, you didn't hear the shot because because you were in the shower? Yes. 
I was washing my hair. Um, Miss Wyndham, what had you done earlier that day? I got up, went to Starbucks, went to the gym, got a perm, and came home. Where you got in the shower? What? I believe the witness has made it clear that she was in the shower. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Um, Miss Wyndham, have you ever got a perm before? Yes. How many would you say? Two a year since I was 12. You do the math. You know, a girl in my sorority, Tracy Marcinko, got a perm once. We tried to talk her out of it. Curls really weren't her thing. She didn't have your bone structure. But thankfully, that same day, she entered the Pie Cat Wet T-shirt concert, where she was completely hosed down from head to toe. Objection! Why is this relevant? Oh, I have a point, I promise. Then make it... <sighs> Jenny, why is it that Tracy Marcinko's curls were ruined when she got hosed down? Because they got wet? That's right! Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you are forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thigh-goggolite? Hmm? Huh? Uh, y yes? And wouldn't someone who has had, say, 30 perms throughout their lifetime be well aware of this rule? Uh... And if you, in fact, were not washing your hair, as I suspect you were not, since your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? Uh... And if, in fact, you had heard the gunshot, then Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have enough time to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which would mean that you would have had to have found Brooke Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story sound plausible. Isn't that right? She's my age. Did she tell you that? How would you feel if your father married someone who was your age? You, however, did have time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. <gasps> no way. No, no. Order, order. <gasps> order. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Can you believe it? Can you believe Bailiff, take the witness into custody where she will be charged with the murder of Hayworth Wyndham. In the matter of the state versus Brooke Wyndham, this case is dismissed. Mrs. Wyndham, you are free to go. <gasps> yes! Chutney was lying because she's brilliant, of course. The rules of hair care are simple and finite. Any Cosmo girl would have known. I don't know about you at home, but I'm very impressed by the use of inanimate objects in both of those scenes and their cameo roles themselves. But the winner has to be Amelia Stevenson for her Lady in the Tramp classic scene. Cat the food, a brick of your face. So for that, I'm awarding Millie two points and Amy one point because she came second, but she was also last. So, so the scores on the doors are ooh. At the time of recording, I can't remember what the scores are. So ooh, exciting! Join us next week for the fourth and final round of Quirk Master. Find the quirk. See you next week. Same time, same place. See you then.